Hey my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Go Y, but you can also call me Midiker and you're watching episode 19 of the Lexi challenge that we're doing here on this channel. And this is the third time, fourth time that I'm trying to film this video because my game keeps crashing. If you haven't checked Twitter, it is actually crashing, so hopefully it's working. And if you haven't watched the latest episode, please do so before you watch this one because there's going to be a little bit of spoilers. So, have you watched it? Are you watching it? Okay, then here are the spoilers. So, our girl is pregnant. Let's see, she is currently in her first trimester. She'll be in her second trimester in 20 hours. So, probably by the next episode, she'll be giving birth. And at the moment, like, it's nice, it's all going good. In the last episode, however, she was showing some signs of a miscarriage. Luckily, my game was kind of... Or the game, not the game, the mod was kind of not working correctly. So we got rid of the miscarriage. She still has the baby. I know unfortunately what the gender is because I had to check that everything was fine. But you guys don't know because I kind of hide, hid it for you for you guys. But just so you know, uh, she was supposed to have a miscarriage and now she doesn't. I'm just going to have her work in the garden and hopefully everything stays fine. I've updated the, get the mod and everything. So right now it should work fine. And it, she shouldn't get any more miscarriage signs, hopefully. But yeah, at the moment she's just going to sell everything. We're going to work towards at least getting 1000 simoleons in this episode for Cameron to start his own job. Because our girl kind of, like we know what she's doing. She's gardening, she also has painting on the side. She does want to finish the painting and she also wants to buy a toy. Now, we have enough money because we did also build our home a little bit up. Cameron, he, you can see him over here. He's just doing a little bit of a rocking. But you want to raise your fitness skills. So why don't you just go for a jog and get that fitness skill out of the way. Also, there is a glitch in my game. Apparently, my sims think that they're in a politics career. They're not. Uh, you can see in here, like, they're not in a politics career. Bjorn Bjorkesen is calling as well. Saying, hey, I've been feeling pretty down in the dumps lately. Nothing seems to be going my way. I figured if anybody could cheer me up, it's you. Well, we're going to try to cheer him up. And I'm just going to make sure that all of this goes into the fridge. This is the breakfast that Cameron made for Isabella. After she finishes with the garden, she's going to eat his breakfast that he made for her. But I'm going to start him in the culinary career. We're going to see, like, you guys are going to be the ones deciding if he goes into the mixology track or if he's going into the cooking track. But at least he will be starting the culinary mm. career because I think he likes cooking, to be honest. I think he also... We're not going to buy a workout machine. I think he's also interested in cooking. Like, he has tried autonomously cook at a couple of times. and Or at least I think he did. And also he has mythology skill level 7. So he can definitely do well in like either one of the tracks. His, uh, his cooking is level 2. So once he comes back... I'm going to have him take a shower and he basically handiness will be his hobby on the side like a little bit of woodworking that he can also sell but it's also going to be just a little bit of a hobby on the side. We're going to have him make a bunny sculpture for the little baby room or nursery because I think it would be cute for like the little baby to have a sculpture that he made specifically for him or her. And Isabella, she's just like doing all of the gardening, just trying to make sure that her garden is looking nice and dandy. So let's see, we're going to weed everything and if she's not going to water these ones, I'm just going to say water all. Because for some reason the gardening is kind of working in sections. So at one point like she has, she starts harvesting this part, but then she doesn't harvest the rest of the parts. So I do have to kind of select multiple sections in order for her to actually do what we want her to do. But I think she should make enough money from gardening at least. Because I did film this one already before. But unfortunately me my game crashed. So hopefully it, hopefully it will be working out. But I do know that at least she'll be making enough money with the gardening. And also I had the idea to start writing a book series. Basically starting a gardening book series if you guys like it she's currently still writing a book named love is patient basically just a, 
a nice romance story but if you guys like the idea of her starting a garden book series let me know in the comments below and also let me know if you have some names maybe we, we can start with plant love maybe that's the first name like i'm very not creative when it comes to book names but if you guys like that id just let me know and if you have any other ideas for what book she can write also let me know because we can kind of focus on her writing now that she has a little bit of a desk and a little bit of a corner and apparently one of the cabinets is missing here so i'm just going to buy another one for them and in case you guys are wondering why the windows or the door is looking really weird the patch did have an update where or the patch update did have a new addition addition to windows where you can basically stack them on top of each other but this kind of does not really work with custom content windows and doors so at the moment it's a little bit glitched but i'm hoping that sims 4 studio comes with a patch update real quick where it kind of fixes the the windows and the doors again and moira is asking you might be wondering why top secret agent like our agency like ourselves would reach out to someone with a big reputation as you have why that's the whole point people regard you so well who would expect that you're a secret agent if you're up for it We'll pencil you in to start in a lead detective rank 5 rule. Oh, and by the way, this conversation never happened. Well, we're going to decline it because I was saying before, like, she, she's kind of a gardener. Like, we can have her do maybe a freelance job as a gardener. But I think she's just like a regular garden that she just loves making money from her own garden. And not really spending any money on... Or not spending money, but maybe not trying to earn money in a different way. And Cameron, he's just taking a shower. Are you also going to do the woodworking as I said you were not really seeing it lined up? You can finish the shower. Like, you can fin- Cameron, you can finish the shower. Like, take the shower. And then you can craft a sculpture. Like, it's fine. You don't have to cancel one out. And after that, maybe you can do a little bit of a tending the table and starting a yard sale. Let's see. You have a dragon sculpture so that we can sell. So I definitely think that you can do do a little bit of selling. Okay, what's it up with the job offers? Like, this is her second job offer. So, apparently, somebody's asking if... Let's see. If we can become a regular contributor in the author career. Well, as we said, we have our own way. And Cameron reached lev handiness level 4, which is nice. But... Like, we have our own way of making money. Like, our girl is not going to be starting any other job career. Like, we can do... Become an author with the kids. Or, like, the kids can become very different things. But at the moment, we're not going to have both of our parents be working. Like, she has her stay-at-home job. Mom job coming up. She has her garden, her painting. Like, there's a lot of ways that she can make money. So, I'm sorry, but we're not going to do it. And we can sell beeswax, apparently. So, hopefully, we can make some money from that as well. But yeah, she's just doing the gardening. She's still trying to sell everything. At least we skipped over the 1000 simoleon mark. So, kind of had to have to put a minus in front of it. In order to get rid of the 1000 simoleons. But after this, Karen, you can... <sighs> Join a career. You can become a dishwasher, I think, is what you start as. He's w looking very, very good at the moment. So hopefully we can do the yard sale and make a lot of money with the yard sale as well. But let's just first start up the job, making sure that he actually has a job. I think he starts Monday morning as well. And that he, for now he has the weekends off. So at least then he will be able to spend like his time with the kids. Because I do want to get like at least three up to four kids, uh, depending on like how old they are getting. But I do want to have like at least a couple of kids that you guys can choose from. So let's just start a yard sale. He's currently an assistant dishwasher. Uh, he does have to prepare food and mix drinks. So once you are finishing up with yard sale, we're going to have you do some cooking because you're also starting to get hungry in order for you to basically have... Uh, what was I saying? In order for you to basically get that one out of the way. So you're almost done with the harvesting. And selling off everything 
You're also going to take care of your bees. I did already say apply the mite treatment. Mm. So Cameron just made some dinner and mm. those mm. fish tacos mm. look very, very good. So why don't Isabella, you also grab a little bit of a dinner for you guys. And then let's just have a little bit of a chat. Maybe gossip, just talk a little bit about the baby. Let's see, are you going... She's gonna reset for some reason. Okay, eat the fish taco. Mm. Apparently Bob Pancakes is hanging around. Uh, compliment his outfit because he is looking Sister, very, very good. And just the try to get your social up a little bit. Friendly. Ask about his day. Fish like, hey, how was the woodworking ah. going? Like, did you ah, make pinkini. the bunny that you were Fibs. going to talk about? Of, uh, that you were talking about? Uh, let's see, maybe we can also uh, talk about the dish. Ooh. I saw the option for name IDs. Ooh, kind of want to talk about that one. <laughs> so maybe we can just have them exchange name IDs. And then, talking about that topic... If you guys have some names for our little sims, because I'm going to be changing, of changing, choosing the names out of like the list that you guys give me. So if you have any name ideas, uh, let me know in the comments below. Because in the next episode, for sure, I'm going to make sure that at the end of the next episode, or by the end of the next episode, she's going to have the baby. So if you have any name ideas, let me know in the comments below, and I'll pick a name out of those ones. So let's see. You're just going to have a nice little family dinner right with the little baby in there as well. It's probably one of the few times that you're going to be having some alone time because after that it's going to be screaming and crying and not being alone anymore. So enjoy enjoy it while you can. And I'm just going to make sure that at least like both of their needs are up and then I'll see you guys in the morning. So both of our sims are up and you can definitely see that Isabella is pregnant now. She's in the second trimester and she will be in the tr third trimester in 23 hours. I'm just going to have her take a shower while Cameron is doing a little bit of cooking. <laughs> he also wants to be friendly with her so that we, it's something that we can definitely do well, while they're having a little bit of breakfast. And for today it is prank day actually. We also still need to get like Cameron to the next level of the bodybuilder aspiration. So maybe we can take them a little bit to the gym venue and have them work out. Like maybe Cameron can just do workout while Isabella is taking a nice swim. Just doing a little bit of a swim uh, for fun. Like you can do a little bit of relaxation swimming. I actually love uh, as a kid to do swimming for fun. So maybe she can do that as well. And let's see, we're going to spray area for box. We're also going to have her take care of the shower, or take care of the shower, take care of the garden, which is actually kind of counterintuitive or like counterinteractive if you just took a shower. But we're going to sell everything. Or are we? No, it's actually, let's see, how far are you with the cooking? Well, you're actually done with the cooking. You made some really nice looking pancakes. I can go for some pancakes right now as well. Yeah, he's definitely, like, he made excellent uh, the fish tacos last night. He also made excellent pancakes this morning. So I definitely think that he's very, very good at cooking. So the culinary career, probably a really good job for him. And we're getting a nice royalty report as well. So Isabella, are you coming over to have some breakfast? Yes, you are. Our very, very pregnant looking girl. But she does also look very, very happy. Like, she's definitely, I think, be very, very happy with the idea that she's getting a baby. <laughs> that they're going to have a little kid. Like, Cameron is just going... He already finished up, but he's just going to stay over here. Do a little bit more talking with Isabella. Trying to just spend a little bit of time with his wife. So why don't you talk about your recent vacation? Like, oh, can't you believe that it's, like, just been our honeymoon and now we're already... Having a baby, like you're already in like the second trimester. We're going to ask the baby's due date because I know that I have a mod installed that actually gives you a response as well. So I'm kind of wondering if we're actually going to get a response. Let's see. 
<laughs> you had a milk? Yes, no. Not really sure if we actually got a response or not, but... Well, he's feeling Orb. very into Mitchell. it. <laughs> Let's see what else we can do. Uh, well, she's still eating, so we're not going to fill up the baby, but... Maybe we can just... Let's see... <laughs> I was kind of thinking, like, maybe they can talk about the life... Uh, what's it called? Life achievements? <laughs> A little bit of talking about that. We're not going to woohoo. We're also not going to buy a banquet table, even though he definitely wants to. And he's not going to fertilize a bush because we, at the moment, have a toilet. He really wants. He really wants to do it with her, doesn't you? Doesn't he, guys? Okay. Well, you're going to compliment her outfit. You're going to compliment how she looks. Like, she, like, honey. My love, my everything. Like Quar, you look, you look amazing. Like, like you're, you're looking so gorgeous. Even though like you're pregnant, like you're looking as gorgeous as ever. He's going to say like I love you. He's going to express his fondness. He's, they're just going to be a little bit sweet and cute and sweet <laughs> over over having breakfast. Oh, and she's actually saying I love you back as well. If you guys didn't saw any notification because I was just like. Plus Looking a, a little bit, but Spoon actually, the, she said, I've been told this before, I hope you meet it because I love you. So, she definitely loves him as well, and she's she's very, very happy. You can definitely see that she's very happy. So, we're going to ask him if, or ask her, if he can feel up the baby. So, ask to feel the baby, and I'm going to take a cute little picture of, of him, f like, feeling her baby. Zewang? Maypick? No, Renek. Oh, that's so cute. Like, they're definitely a really, a really cute couple. And apparently, Isabella is getting her third job offer of this episode, asking if she can become a dance team captain. Well, again, not interested, but thank you for the job offer. She also needs a little bit of the toilet, so I'm going to give that to to her. She was just taking care of the garden while Cameron was doing a little bit of woodworking. Trying to make sure that at least she sold everything and Cameron made a flirty sculpture. It's of two cute little swans that are in love. Oh, that's so cute. So even though it's something that can definitely be f like good for the money, we're just going to put it in here. And he also should have the bunny sculpture somewhere, don't you? Apparently not, but we're going to make another flirty sculpture. We're just going to say that this is a gift to Isabella. And then he's just going to make a bunny sculpture that he was supposed to make for for his kids. And then we're also going to make sure that he makes another flirty sculpture. And then Isabella, you want to do a little bit of painting. So why don't you just start a little bit of a... Let's see... Kind of thinking that you can start a large classic painting, so why don't you do that one as well? So I've made them go to the karaoke bar in Del Sol Valley. I'm just going to have her order some some food because she is kind of getting hungry. So let's see what we can order her. Uh, let's see. Pita and hummus tapas sounds really, really good. So why don't you order that one for you and Cameron... You can actually have a drink, so you're going to order a drink. Let's see. Why don't you order your favorite drink? Because I'm kind of interested to see what his favorite drink is. But we're just going to not have her have any drinks because, well, she's pregnant. We don't want her to like drink all alcohol when she's pregnant. And apparently you want to paint on an easel at the museum. We're not going to do that. And you want to leave a note for someone we don't have that option at the moment. Apparently she has a lot of whims that we cannot fulfill, but we can ask Cameron about this day. So, let's see, why don't you just do that? Like, he's sitting right next to you, you can see friendly, ask about his day, while you're waiting for your food to arrive. And then once you've eaten, maybe you can do a little bit of karaoke together. And she's also going to do a little bit of a prank with him. 
Ju just Bonnie to Bonnie. just because it's prank day, so she is just going to do a little bit of pranking. She's going to lie about career, like, hey, I've got so many job offers, like, I'm definitely going to get into like the career and everything. And he's like, really? Aren't you? Weren't you like going to stay home with the kids, like making money your own way? She's like, no, no, I'm going into a career. Just like you, like you want to work, so I'm going to work as well. But then she's like, kidding. Was just joking with you. So she's just going to be a little bit mischievous, just trying to make a little bit of jokes. And then let's see how he responds to it. Like I think he would, they probably would prank a little bit with each other, like just for fun. And girl, you're not going to sit in the middle of the two of them. Evie Delgato, like you're looking really cute, but you're not going to be in the middle of the, t the two of them. Like they're on a date. She's also good, going to do what's this spot and let's see, just just go away. <sighs> and let's see, he is uh, is he he's drinking his drink. Good. He's just going to let's see, be friendly to her in return. He's going to maybe brighten her day, and we're not going to buy a punching bag at the moment. We're also not going to buy a trap mill. Let's see if we can get something related to her. Not really seeing that something that's related to her, to be honest. Hmm, apparently he doesn't have any mims to relate it to her at the moment. He, j he just wants to fitness. Like you can really see it, like he just wants to fitness and get all the fitness stuff. And did you actually have food or not? And otherwise grab a surfing because you need some food. And she wants to kiss him. Oh, well you can definitely kiss him. So I had them discuss having kids again to see just what happens. And apparently the response is, how about we who and see what happens. So they're definitely like, let's go for the, let's go for the kids. So they're still really happy with it. And he, she's carrying him, but they're laughing about it. So it's definitely going good between the two of them. Like he's going to, he wants to be enticing, so why then not? He also wants to feel the baby, like, us, uh? just spend all the time with her. Oh, he wants to discuss the future I'm together, so why don't we do that one as well and just see, see what the response is. He wants to ask to feel the baby, so we're going to do that one. He just he just wants to, like, do all of the, all of the cute things. I definitely think that they're such a cute couple, like, they're so cute together. Let's have a passionate kiss between the two of them as well. And we're not going to buy a dryer, girl. Let's see. Relationships are hard, but these sims have discussed it. Their only option is now go forward. Well, they're definitely going forward. Like, she's really confident, thinking he's all mine. Like, she's definitely, definitely, like, happy with him. Happy that, that he's hers. So she does need a little bit of a uh, toilet usage. So let's see where are the toilets. There they are. So why don't we have her go use the toilet and then maybe she can do a little bit of karaoke with, with him together. Or together with him. So I can't do any karaoke but instead I had Isabella sing a serenade. So why don't we listen to her? Apparently it's yawning. You never love fair foes. Sure side with sim said news. You've ever from yam. I'm not sure if you guys can hear her, but she's sound sounding pretty good. So the practicing is you definitely definitely going well. And she also wants to stargaze with him, so why don't we do a little bit of stargazing as well? Let's see. In a prab, Mashka. Not really seeing it, but why don't we talk about herbalism in the meantime? Like she's very confident. He is Toss. very, very flirty. Aspinall, Zanks. She's going to complain about hormonal changes, maybe, to him. Like it's 
if you're pregnant, like I, d I wouldn't know because I've never been. But I know that it's like sometimes a little bit difficult. So sometimes you do have hormonal changes. Sometimes you're not feeling too great. But in the end, it's like all worth it. So she's also going to exchange nematodes because I haven't seen if there's any interaction that comes up or if there's like anything, if it says anything. And then I'm going to see if they can actually stargaze. And Oliver has married Helene Darby. Alondra Lee and Dory Richard have married. Or are married. And let's see. Because we got some more. Sean Hatfield has married Ulrich Faust. And then Sam has married Grace and Ansi. So a couple of her friends have definitely... They're definitely getting married to each other. So it means that probably they will be starting a family soon. Ooh, ooh, I also family. saw a notification <laughs> that Luca, where is he? Luca here has actually been very, very busy. Because Luca has another kid with a different woman. That he got pregnant before he married to Harmony. So that's also the case. But both of them, they're just doing some stargazing together. They're just spending like the final time of the evening watching the sky. Spending outdoors, doing something that they love. And I'm going to end the episode here. If you guys like this episode, click that little like button down below. Comment the baby names because in the next episode we'll be definitely having the baby. Also, let me know if you want me to write a garden book series as, as our little girl Isabella. And if so, what kind of titles would you like me to do? And also, if you have subscribed already, please do so as well help me and my channel grow. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday for another episode of Eco Lifestyle. Bye! I can't get you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life You're just my type I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right Your dark hair with those eyes so bright